My name is Olivier, and interestingly, part of the job I'm doing is to measure people's attention thanks to portable neurotechnology. You'd be a fantastic sample for some of the technology we've developed. So, let me tell you about a little story. Every time now, when I take a flight, when I go to a restaurant, people ask me, do you have any specific diet needs? Are you allergic to something? And it's great to have people asking you if they can tailor the food you're going to be served. The only problem I have is for most of us, when this happens, we never ask whether our day of work is going to be tailored to who we are, to what we do. Why? Because a lot of strategies in the workplace are one size fits all. Generally, people care about your skills, your background when you're being hired. But think about on a daily basis. Some people have to stand in front of a computer from 9 to 12, have a little break for lunch, and then work in the afternoon. But depending on whether they slept well, how they feel, that 9 to 12 in the morning can be very different from one day to another. And depending on the diversity of people, the diverse brains and skills, it can also be different. So, this is why, over the past 10 years, the company that I'm the president of, Emotive, the current global leader in neuro portable neurotechnology, has developed not only the hardware, but also the translational algorithms that allow to compute in real time cognitive functions. Think about attention and distraction, stress, cognitive load in the workplace. If you look at recent data from the WHO, Depression and anxiety are hitting more than 300 million people on the planet. The total cost for the workforce and in productivity can reach up to one trillion every year because of issues related to what we refer to as mental health and anxiety in the workplace. But we now have the possibility, thanks to personalized neuroinformatics, the ability not only to record everyone's brain in situ during the day of work, but to scale the data collection, to be able to leverage the hundreds of thousands of trials and databases that we've been collecting in 120 countries from the more than 100,000 people who own one of our portable brain scans, we've been able to identify various archetypes of people and then to tailor the day of work. Similarly, that we tailor some of the diets of people. Some of us, depending on our age, our gender, our training, or whether we had a fight with a person we love the night before and we did not sleep so well, we'll have a lot of variance in our impulse control. And these are things that nowadays we can measure. By being able to tailor the way people work, how they interact with their colleagues, and collect this data and leverage it in order to customize their day of work, we are not only improving productivity, more importantly, we're relying on rigorous, scalable neuroscience in order to better understand people, leverage machine learning for good, and in certain dangerous environments, also improve safety. In a world where everyone is claiming that they're designing human-centric interfaces, human-centric experiences, isn't it crazy that not so many people until recently were interested in how the brain actually works? Of course, the technology wasn't there. But today we're able not only to scale and provide access to brain health and brain measurements, to the masses, thanks to personalized neuroinformatics, but we can also leverage the incredible insights from contextualized data collected all around the world and therefore provide insights on the most diverse database of brain science to date. Thank you very much for your attention. Ooh.